good morning, hello. My name is Jacqueline, I'm a corporate flight attendant and today we're gonna to be talking about hotel life. As you can tell, I am currently inside a hotel here on a layover and I just wanted to talk to you guys about how I set up my hotel room, how I keep myself safe, my privacy and keep my items together and just make it as comfortable as I can when I'm out here on the road. I wanted to film and give you guys like a good background, but with the lighting in this room, I don't think it's gonna happen today. Also, this video almost didn't happen today. I had a whole notebook full of notes on points that I wanted to make in this video and ways that I can just keep all of my thoughts organized. And I forgot that notebook at home. So thank you to my wonderful husband, Johnny. He went into my notebook and took a picture of all of my notes and sent it to me. So now I will be able to get you that information in whatever kind of organized manner that I had it written down in. So thank you, Johnny. All right, so here's a little tour of my hotel room. It's got a great kitchenette, um, full-size refrigerator, which is awesome for any catering that I will have to do later today. And I always keep, you guys have seen the Toomey tote, I always keep it near to the front door in case there's an emergency and I have to run out quick. I've got like my jewelry container, passport license, my main wallet, like everything I need in there. And then I have my small layover bag next to it, which is just easier for me to carry around. And then I thought this background was so cute. This is where I wanted to shoot my video, but I can't, it's too dark. So I've got one window. I had it open to try to use some natural Florida light, but typically when I get into a hotel room, I put the clothes hanger on to the curtains like that to keep it sealed. I'll explain why here in a moment. And then my messy bed, I shouldn't even show you guys that. Didn't bother making it this morning. Uh, when I pack my suitcase, I always take my clothes in and out of packing cubes. Again, if there's an emergency, I can just grab this and run out. It's easier than carrying a big suitcase down. And for the most part, I'll be able to get everything out easily. And then just my bathroom. Um, I have my straightener and my toiletry bag that I leave in here because this is where I use it. That's what makes sense. Another reason why I like to have my things organized like this and not strewn um, like all throughout the room is because if I go to dinner with the crew or I go on a walk or whatever kind of adventure I'm doing on my layover, when I come back into my hotel room and I see that my things are still organized, I know someone didn't go rummaging through my stuff. If you are kind of sloppy and you leave stuff thrown everywhere, you have no idea if that's chaos that you created or if someone was in the room going through your stuff, looking through your stuff. Granted, this is not a foolproof way to make sure no one was going through your things. Um, hopefully, if you're a criminal, you're going to try your best to cover your tracks. But this is just like one way I know my stuff is probably okay. This is how I left it. This is how it still looks. It's not madness throughout my entire hotel room. And now to cover um, like the positioning of my suitcase and where I keep it, you can see I have it propped up. Normally I'll use a luggage stand, but my suitcase will never ever just sit on the floor of a hotel. I keep my suitcase like that because in my head, it's more challenging for bugs to crawl like up the wall and get into your suitcase. And I feel like maybe if it's a challenge, the bugs won't get into my things. If I was a bug, I would not put in that extra effort. Maybe I'm a lazy bug. But I feel like if your bags are up on a shelf or on the luggage rack, it's definitely safer than keeping them on the floor. Hopefully I'm not the only one who has that thought process. All right, let's talk about the pants hanger that keeps my blinds together. There's a few different reasons why I do this. One, it provides almost blackout curtains. You don't get that little strip of sun coming through. Flight attendants have crazy schedules. We like to sleep. Maybe I'm a vampire in like a very dark room. I don't know. But there's another important reason why I do this. And that's because when I was a commercial flight attendant, I checked into a hotel in St. Louis, one of those big tall guys. And there were drones flying around looking into hotel windows. So I don't want anybody looking at my business. I want a dark room and I want my privacy. So this is my number one tip. And then also in this specific hotel, so I'm on the second floor. Let's see if I can do this without like ripping the blinds off the wall. Um, there's something called the garden out there. 
and I don't know, like there's someone else's room. There's other people's rooms. I'm sure there's other rooms like next to me too that can access this area, but there's a door um, kind of over by that AstroTurf and you can just walk outside from like the second floor of the building. So who knows if there's gonna be people out here just kind of peeping through our windows. That's not something I wanna deal with. Although I'm loving this plan. If I could uproot that and take it home, I certainly would do that. Um, so yes, I always have the blinds as closed as they can possibly be in a hotel. I actually feel like going with the hanger as my number one tip would be a disservice to you guys. My true number one tip, the first thing I always do when I check into a hotel, is check for murderers and for bed bugs. Generally, there will be a pilot waiting at the front door just to make sure no one's in here when I'm checking for people to be in here. Um, so when I give them the all clear that my room is good, I pull the bed apart and make sure there's nothing disgusting waiting for me in there. I've also heard tips, ugh, and this one just grosses me out so bad, but you move picture frames to make sure there are no roaches waiting behind the picture frames. And I just don't know if I've got it in me to do that. In that case, ignorance is bliss, maybe I would die. I would just lose my shit if I saw a roach behind a picture frame. And then I wouldn't be able to stay at the hotel and then I would be sleeping in the rental car and then I wouldn't be rested and then I wouldn't be able to fly. Do whatever is gonna make you feel good. I always hope there's no roaches hanging behind the picture frames. I hope that's always the case. Another thing that I like to do just to make sure I'm staying safe and healthy is to just kind of sanitize things that are touched often, especially the TV remote. Uh, if there's a shower cap provided in the bathroom, I'll wrap the remote in a shower cap. If that's not available, I will use an ice bucket liner to wrap up my TV remote. And if that's not available, Clorox wipes are my best friend. All right, now I'm gonna talk about the hotel alarm clock because this is something that's happened to me and it's the most frustrating thing in the world. Always make sure you see something that says off. I've been woken up at like two o'clock in the morning because the hotel alarm was left on. And when the person checked out, they didn't change it. And then when they came to service the rooms, they didn't turn the alarm off. So it was probably a flight attendant who had a very early show setting their alarm for two o'clock in the morning. And then the next day I was the victim of that alarm. So always make sure when you get into a hotel room, you turn the alarm off. You don't wanna be woken up when you're in a hotel and you're supposed to be resting. After I make sure there are no intruders in my room, uh, both a person or a bed bug, I like to charge my Mophie. On layovers, I like to get out, I like to explore, and I need to have full battery life. Sometimes I'll be coming right off the airplane and my phone is not at a full charge and I just don't wanna miss out on anything or miss sharing stuff with you guys since I do vlog often when I'm on the road. So I get my Mophie, I plug it in, I shut the blinds, make sure the room is good, and then I really start my layover. And then as far as the hotel safe goes, it's hit or miss for me. I've heard they can be opened. I have Googled ways that you can just open them if you forget the code or lock them out or how the hotel accesses the safe. So the information is out there. Your stuff might not be much safer in a safe than it is just in your bag or your tote or whatever you're carrying. Uh, the only jewelry I bring with me is my wedding band and my engagement ring. And that's on me at all times, except for when I'm sleeping. I have um, like a portable jewelry storage organizer that I'll put it into that I'll put into my tote when I'm sleeping. Otherwise, I always have it on me. Unless I'm going to a place where I don't feel safe, then I'll just bring my wedding band or a different ring. Depending on where we are, I'll either carry my passport on me as well, or I'll just kind of like hide it in my things. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is when I'm on the road, I never bring anything very valuable. Usually my good jewelry is on me at all times when I'm leaving the hotel room or I'll have like costume jewelry from Target that I'll bring. So if someone does take it, it's not a huge blow to me. So just something to think about if you're traveling, really any employee from the hotel can access your room. Um, if you don't want your things being stolen, don't take your things with you.
I almost forgot to show you guys this. Um, you've seen it before on my channel in my video, Hotel Do's and Don'ts. I have a smoke hood, or in this case, it's called an emergency escape mask. It provides you with a shield from any smoke or like light debris, I guess. Um, but it also filters the air. So you have more quality air to breathe than if you were in a fire or natural disaster or terrorist attack. So I like to have this close by. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, you know I like being on lower floors of the hotel in case there is a fire. That kind of thing just makes me nervous. So I like to be as prepared as you possibly can be. So those are pretty much all of the tips that I have for inside a hotel room. Um, obviously, this is not a huge room. There's like not a lot of prep that I have to do to make sure I'm comfortable and my things are secure and I'm secure. Uh, but I do wanna talk about leaving the hotel room. There's a few tips that I have. Hopefully you find them to be beneficial. So we covered bed bugs when you arrive at the hotel, but you also need to keep yourself and your things safe when you're leaving the hotel. So I have a uh, tea tree oil and peppermint oil in little spray bottles. So I'll spray down my suitcase with those oils when I'm leaving the hotel because bugs do not like the smell of peppermint or tea tree. It is a natural way to prevent bugs from coming to your things. So if I'm checking my bag on a commercial airline or I'm putting it in an overhead bin in a commercial airline or even on the jets that I fly, my bag is going into cargo with other pilots' bags and passenger bags, and I don't know what's in their bags. I wanna avoid the transfer of bugs. If there's a bug anywhere in any of those areas, I don't want that bug coming home with me. So I will spray my bag so it smells like peppermint or tea tree oil, just hopefully to keep the bugs away. If you are an observant traveler, you may notice a lot of the hotels use scented shampoo or body wash or lotion um, in the tea tree oil scent or the energizing peppermint oil. Well, that's because the bugs don't like that smell. My guess is hotels are doing this on purpose. They're trying to avoid having bugs come onto the grounds. I imagine it would be such a nightmare for a hotel to deal with, with a bed bug outbreak. My thoughts are hotels are using these things to keep us travelers safe. So that's the info that I'm gonna leave you guys with today. Hopefully you found it useful and you can take some of the tips and apply them to your own travels. Uh, if you guys have other things that you do to keep yourself and your things safe in your hotel, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Also below, you're going to see a like button. Please make sure to hit that and a subscribe button. Definitely make sure to hit that one for me. If you guys do have any other questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, just post them down below and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.